Alrighty folks, uh, I'm going to try to fit in a quick video here. Uh, I had mentioned in the video the other day uh, about a uh, feed bin, portable feed bin kind of trailer, which is right here behind me. Um, and uh, I was just going to show you what I got, what I wound up with, why I kind of went with this. Uh, you know, several of you threw up uh, uh, several ideas for me to consider. Uh, however, by the time the video went up, I had purchased this just a few hours before that, so and had went ahead and got feed in it. So, it is what it is. I'd been kind of looking at these for a little while and uh, trying to figure what was the best uh, route to go as far as uh, keeping feed here for the cows. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, you may hear one ball here a little bit, uh, or a few. They heard me move these buckets while ago, and they know what's about to come. So. <laughs> They're getting used to speed, but anyway, this what it is. Uh, I just like I said, put this in here or pull, parked it here last night. Um, L and H Versa Tote uh, out of Hastings, Nebraska. Uh, bought it from a place here in Athens, Alabama. C and B. There's their phone number. It's got a little sock glass here. You can see the pellets of feed. Um, I'm hoping this feed isn't too moist that I have trouble coming out of the chute. Well, I did feed some of this last night out of this little chute here, which I will open up here in a minute. But um, uh, I had to kind of rake it a little bit, and, it, and then it started flowing. So, uh, And I had trouble, too, when I went to the co-op uh, and got the feed, which I did not get a full, uh, full, load, of bee, uh, full load of feed. I got right out a ton. Of uh, feed, so 2,000 pounds. This is a, this says it's a 5,000 pound uh, capacity. Uh, so it should hold about two and a half tons, give or take, depending on moisture content in the feed and what it is. But it's just this simple little trailer, uh, and it didn't, like I said, it wasn't very expensive at all. Uh, if if you go out there and look at the prices on these, they're really not bad. Uh, you know, I couldn't have bought a used gravity wagon that was in decent shape. You know, I see there's gravity wagons around here for you know twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars. But man, some of them the tires are shot, they're rusted out, they've been welded on time after time, and pieces broke. And then I'd have to figure out a way to cover. I mean, this is just a self-contained, watertight kind of deal i mean everything here with the chute is they've got this piece here then the actual siding door is on the inside of this instead of the outside like uh you know my donahue grain trailer here these chutes are on the outside um so you know it's 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 made where you know rain and water ain't going to get in there and uh and ruin the feed and make it stick and gum up and all uh and uh you know if i'd got a gravity wagon i'd either had to store it in shed or figured out a way to uh keep it covered and plus i ain't got to worry about the weather on this thing uh too much uh try to get this up without getting any water in here it has been kind of a misty rainy day so um with this lid, if I can do this, I'm going to try without getting any in. I won't get enough in to hurt anything. This lid just slides back like so. You can see back there where I run out a little bit of grain. Oh, I got water going in my buckets. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I'll pour it out here in a second. But uh, that was about a ton of feed uh, there. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's welded up good. Everything's nice, tight, and squared off. So, uh, you know, for the money, I, I, I thought this was a good idea. Uh, depending on how much feed I feed a day, which I'm still debating on that. Right now I'm looking at about four pounds a head. A day and like I said I don't have as large a herd as a lot of you guys that watch my channel uh, I've only got about 30 heads so uh, this won't last me quite a month but uh, even if I skip a day here or there 
but uh, this was just a start. I wanted to try this feed. This feed is 14% uh, feed, and uh, it's trying to drizzle again. But uh, I'll close it back up. Uh, it's 14% feed, and uh, it's um, it's got uh, zinc and magnesium and iron and a whole bunch of other stuff in it. But it is a medicated feed. Uh, it's got uh, remycin in it, I believe is what it is. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll try to keep my camera dry. It's starting to rain again. Uh, I didn't know if I'd get through a video without it trying to rain again or not, but I will. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to start weighing these buckets and see how, how many pounds a bucket is. I figure I'm going to need four plus more buckets a day uh, out of this. So I got another couple buckets over I can round up. But, uh, anyway, yeah, it's got a little stand here. You can uh, drop down and uh, it'll keep it from flipping over backwards, that, you know, if you got in that, you know, situation. Uh, but, you know, Jack, uh, trailer lights, chains, two-inch ball, little ladder, you know, it works. Uh, so this is the plan. Uh, and this also, like I said, is portable, so I ain't got to worry about... Most of the places I called around here uh, that deliver feed, they want to deliver a minimum of three tons more if they can. So, like I said, if even if I found a used feed bin and poured a pad, mounted it, got an auger for it, all that, it, you know, I was going to have this much money in that. So, this gives me the flexibility to pull this to any feed place I want. Uh, get feed rain or shine and uh, you know and I can you know I, there's places within where I work that I can get feed so I can just pull this to work with me you know run over there real quick get some feed come back and uh, you know I'll probably have to get feed at least at least once a month every month and a half in here if I go through it at the rate I think I don't know you know in the summertime I might cut that down but uh and that was the other thing like i said this feed is got uh some moisture to it and um like i said i'll see if i can get a little bit of it out here it's got a little pin to keep the door locked a little storage area there but uh you know it just comes out you can see there it's It's sticking in there a little bit because of its moisture. But, uh, it's slowly coming out. <laughs> there we go. It's coming down now. But, uh, yeah, um, like I said, I want to try this. Uh, and, oh, and it's moisture, right? Yeah, I didn't want to get a bin and a lot of feed and uh what dropped in you can see it there in a little sight glass cut it off right there i don't weigh how much that right there is but uh anyway uh yeah they're right there my pen's right there among on the other side of that uh all those brushes you can see cattle trailer sitting out there but anyway um yeah uh if i ever get to my point here i didn't want to put a uh, moist feed in the bin you know have three ton more delivered and not be able to feed it in time before it starts to mold in the bin or anything like that so this is a good way for me to just get what i need when i need it and no big deal so anywho you can see it worked there uh like i said that's uh <laughs> That's the easiest thing for feed we've ever seen around here. Uh, what I've been doing uh, here lately is getting feeding bags, and I've got just a little bit left in here. That's why I wanted to. Well, I can get that to go up. There it goes. Uh, 
here in the back of the Donahue, which is still for sale. I got the spare tire and some cables and stuff in here for it. Uh, but uh, this is watertight, so I've been buying some feed, and um, these are 50 pound bags, and it's about $9 a bag. And I've been mixing a little crushed corn with it, so I got just a little bit of this. Uh, I'm actually going to feed some of this today. I'm mixing with this new feed. Just to, I won't get get rid of this. Uh, uh, but I did have some bags in here that I was feeding. But this gets expensive. But this bag and this bag each were nine dollars each. So that's eighteen dollars for those two bags alone. Uh, where the feed I got in that trailer was right at. Anywhere from 190 to 200 dollars a ton. So what, four or five dollars or 50 pounds, something like that. I'll close that here in a second. I'll reopen it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to attend to these ladies out here. Uh, they're gonna get upset here in a minute if they don't get some of this feed. But uh, I just want to show you this little L and H Versatote. Uh, it don't have. Uh, it, it, it don't have springs on it. That's one thing I didn't like. Uh, but, you know, I pulled it. I pulled it down the interstate 70 mile an hour last night with this uh, 2,000 pounds in it. And no problem at all. I mean, it just tagged along back there like, like nothing <laughs> Nothing was back there, hardly. Um, but uh, they do have a good 8-ply tire on here. Uh, I'm sure that's probably a 6,000 pound axle. I would... I would I would guess, uh, or hubs and axle, however they've done that, uh, but, uh, because it being a 5,000 pound capacity plus the weight of, of the unit itself, but, uh, anyway, just have a little bit of a short tongue, but, uh, hey, it does the job, so, uh, there you go. So I'm gonna get out here and feed these, these cows, and, uh, let them get a little bit of this because they're getting they're getting used to getting it every day now so they get upset if i don't but uh yeah uh there it is uh that's what i'd go with so uh, uh like i said for the money it was i didn't think it was bad at all so uh, anyway uh that's that thanks for watching see ya